Hi, I'm Charlie. I am going to demonstrate the use of our Medfusion or syringe pump. You're going to start by um, having your antibiotic and priming your syringe pump tubing, which is found on the PAR-E. You are going to place your syringe and you're going to just want to make sure that the flange is in this portion of the pump. You're then going to pull the arm down and place it on the end of the plunger and then wrap the tubing uh, through the end um, portion of the pump. You're then going to want to connect to your patient after um, cleaning the hub for 15 seconds with your alcohol and power the pump on. It does take a few minutes for the pump to do the self checks. Uh, you may see two types of pumps here on pediatrics. We do have one pediatric Medfusion pump. Um, this pump is set up for the NICU, which is not a big deal. The um, two settings that we need, the volume over time or the milliliters per hour, are still um, options on the NICU pump. So when you um, decide which option that you need, usually here on pediatrics we use volume over time for delivery of our antibiotics you just select the number that corresponds with that setting so you're going to just press two um, the next screen will ask you what type of what brand of syringe that you are using um, on pediatrics we use the monoject syringes and that is visible on the actual syringe so you again just press the number that corresponds which is two the third screen will recognize what size syringe you have in place already. And it recognizes a 12 ml syringe. And again, you just press enter. The next screen will ask you to enter the volume to infuse. So whatever your volume is that you would like to infuse, you just type it in. So for example, 10 mLs. And again, just press enter. On every screen, you'll have three options at the bottom, an option to clear, um, an or an option to backspace if you made a mistake, and then of course just your enter button. The fourth screen is your delivery time. So for example, 30 minutes. Um, it reads in hours, minutes, and seconds, and that is displayed on the bottom there. And again, you'll just press enter. Um, it will always ask you to confirm your settings. So the last screen will give you your volume and your time. It will give you the syringe and the um, milliliter syringe that you're using and it will give you it will compute the final rate for you so if that is all correct you click yes if it's not um, clicking no will take you back to the screen so that you can make any appropriate changes so again just click yes um, and then the last thing you will have to do is hit the start key to start your infusion once your infusion is infusing you will see the yellow buttons here on the syringe and that tells you that um, your medication is running. At, if, at any time you need to stop the infusion, you just hit the stop button and that will stop. Then you can restart if needed. Um, and then the other key that's important is the silence button if you need to silence any alarms. Uh, another important thing to remember is that um, you will need to flush at the end of your infusion. Uh, the tubing holds 0.4 milliliters, so you want to make sure you flush at least that plus um, another cc or two of normal saline to um, get the rest of your medication out of the tubing. And then again, you will just pop the syringe off, put your normal saline flush on, and then put the flange back in and taking the, the syringe out will kind of reset and take you back to the original screen for you to start the process over to um, set your flush and you will just want to run it at the same rate as you were running your antibiotic. Um, on the inpatient side of pediatrics these pumps are cleaned by housekeeping um, and on the ED side uh, the pumps are cleaned by nursing and they are cleaned with Virex not the um, Sani wipes and that is per the manufacturer's recommendation. We are going to store the, the Medfusion or syringe pumps in our med room on the counter and just make sure that it is plugged in at all times.